Hi, my name is Guy and welcome to my shop. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I typically make reproduction furniture. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be making a picture frame. It is a reproduction picture frame. My wife found a uh, picture on Google that she, uh, of a frame she really liked and she had a print that she really liked that she wanted me to frame it for. It's a little bit different than a normal picture frame. It's going to be a, a series of moldings that are glued together, different species of woods. Uh, it's a very interesting project. So let's get started. I need to make four strips, and this is going to be for the edge of the picture frame. I need to make four pieces, one and three sixteenths inch wide. Uh, I'm just going to set my fence to that and start making these cuts. And now that I've got the pieces cut for the border of the frame, I've got a half inch straight cutting bit in my router and I'm going to plow a groove down the edge of this piece of walnut. I'm going to leave an eighth inch on both sides and go up an eighth of an inch deep. Well this is the profile I'm looking for. I've got a nice groove going down the center of it, and I've got an eighth inch here and an eighth inch here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the router and I'm going to put a round over on this piece and this piece. And I could do it with the hand plane, but I'm going to use a router table because I want a nice even uh, round over all the way around. I've got a one eighth inch beading bit set up in my router table, and I'm going to pass these through. Well, that's the profile I'm looking for again. There's just a nice gentle round over on this, but again, I use a router table because I'm going to get consistent results all along the length of the piece. I just need to do the other three now. There's going to be four pieces that are cut at a 45 degree angle, 3 8 7 inch, and they're going to go around between the field and the side I just cut before. So I'll explain it, it'll make more sense as I go on. I found the easiest way to cut these 45 degree chamfers, especially on something this size, is do it at the router table with the chamfer bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one 45 here, one 45 here or here. I'm going to cut these off and then repeat it again so I have a much larger piece. And again, I need four pieces of this. As you can see, I've got these 45 degree chamfers cut here. I'm just going over the table saw and cut them off. I've got my table saw height set at 3 8 of an inch. I'm a quarter of an inch away from the fence. What I want to first do is I want to make a pass on the edge here to help separate that piece. Now that I have these grooves cut in there to help separate these pieces, I'm going to make another cut all the way along here and again, that's going to be a 3 8 inch from this edge. Well, this is what I'm looking for. I've got a nice 3 8 inch by 3 8 inch and a 45 degree chamfer here. I just need to go back to the router table with the remaining piece of my stock, do this all over again until I, so I get four pieces. Well, this is the cherry that's going to be the feel of the frame for the most part. I've got the fence set at 3 and 3 eighths. I need to make two pieces about 54 inches long and several pieces about 43 inch long. Well, here's the pieces I currently have milled, and this is how they're going to lay out. Um, again, this is the field. This is going to be the border or the edge of the piece, and then this 45 is going to fit in here. Inside here, there's going to be an inlay. 
and that inlay is going to be made out of maple. Uh, so before I do anything, I've got to actually make the inside of this frame so I can lay out some of those, those corners and, and diagonals and things that I'm going to put in here. I laid out the pieces and decided which ones are going to be the long rails and which ones are going to be the short rails for the picture frame. <clears throat> I marked the boards how I'm going to cut them at 45. I'm going to start by cutting one 45 degree angle on each board. Based on what I know about the picture itself and the man on it, I've got to have a 36 by 28 frame. I've calculated out how long these pieces need to be, and it's roughly 43 by 34 and 7 eighths. So I've got my stop block set up on my miter gauge. I've got it set up. Hopefully it's correct, and uh, I need to make this cut. <laughs> Alright, I got the first part of this laid out. As you can see, there's going to be a square in the corner right here. And then there's going to be two strips that go along the top and the bottom. They're going to crisscross in the middle. And then go to the other side. Again, well, there'll be another square up here in the corner. Um, I've just got to lay the rest of these out in pencil. This is going to take a little while. It took me a while to do this one. But uh, it'll be worth it. I'm getting ready to start cutting the inlays in here. I've got a quarter inch upcut spiral bit in my router. I've got a router fence. I've got some dust collection. I've got the bit set to a depth of one eighth inch cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on and I'm going to route out what I can using the edge guide here. As you can see, I've got all the straight grooves laid out. Uh, I made one mistake right here, but that's a small one. I'll fix that later. Um, now I'm getting ready to cut the, the, the cross grain ones. I've clamped these down on my bench. And I've, I've actually brought out my clamping guide. I haven't used this in years. But uh, I'm going to use that in combination with a router. Plunge down, cut this one, move it, move it, move it. And cut these, turn the whole thing around, and then do the other side. Well now I'm getting ready to cut the diagonals on here. I've got this set of diagonals all lined up. I've got a clamp to my tabletop. And what I'm going to use for a guide rail to, to, for my router is one of the Festool guide rails. And that goes in here like this. This is a perfect 45 degrees. So I can use this as a guide for my router. I've already got this set up. And I'm just going to plunge in, lift it up, plunge in, lift it up. The same thing I did with the diagonals. Now that I've got the majority of where I'm going to put the inlays, 
obviously the router is has a round bit in it, so I need to go around to some of these places and I need to square up each one of these. I'm just going to do that with a chisel. All the Morris is cut for the dominoes, so it's just a matter of putting the dominoes in and gluing this up. Well, I've got the base frame glued up now. I'm going to let this sit overnight. Uh, I checked it for square and it's, it's perfect. It came out really nice. Um, I love it when a plant comes together. I'm going to let this sit overnight and then tomorrow morning I'm going to start. I've got a couple other pieces of inlay to do and then I've also got to put the inlay in and then start on some of the other molding. So that's it for now and thanks for watching.